I'm Aiman, and welcome back to one of my product showcase videos. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing this Serta futon. And I gotta do this pretty quickly because I have some friends coming over today. And uh, the reason that we got this futon is for this patio outside here, which we've converted from a patio to a open uh, three season sunroom, which I've done videos on, so check that out. But the reason that we got this patio is because we want to use that for like multi purpose. If anyone wants to visit, Instead of housing them in there as a guest room, you can use this outside room as a guest room, which is good because it has like everything that you need. You know, it has a fan, has AC, has pretty much everything that a guest room needs. So this is useful to be used as both a bed and a couch whenever you don't need to house guests. So first off, let's get unboxing. You can see the measurements on the front of the box as I unbox it. Uh, you know, sometimes they call it a convertible sofa. Uh, this one they call a a dream convertible. Uh, let's see if it's really a dream. Uh, you know, first thing I noticed when uh, unbox when just looking at the box that when you fold it up, it still leaves a, a wide platform at the base. It still has a big footprint. You know, some some futons when you fold them up, they actually get thinner, so they don't have as much as a, of a footprint. Okay, so now we have the box on uh, cut. So let's take it out. Wow. <laughs> this is bigger than I thought it would be. But, I mean, uh, of course I need the measurements, but this is, in person, it's different. This is huge. Let me just lift it out so that you guys can see it. Let's see. Patented mechanism helps avoid injury and protects fingers. Okay, it's a pinch guard. All right. Interesting that they advertise that. I feel like that should be an expectation. Okay. All right. So you can see what the mechanism looks like. Where's the legs? I'm guessing the legs are somewhere. Okay, but anyway, this is what the front side of it looks like. And like I was mentioning, when you fold up the futon, it doesn't leave this part. Uh, it doesn't fold up this part too. So it just has the same footprint. You can't put it back against the wall. Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. Where's the feet? All right, so we're inside the room now. Let's install the feet, which should be located inside of here. And what do you know? Okay, wow. Convenient storage area in the future, I guess. These have metal feet with a bit of, well, it's not really soft padding, but it's good enough so that it won't scratch your floors um, instead of wooden feet. Okay. And these as well. And these ones go in the back. All right, so installation looks pretty simple. All you need to do is just screw them in and put washers. Okay, uh, I really don't know how you can go wrong with installing this. I feel like it's pretty simple. Okay. So they gave us four screws for the legs in the front. And then the legs in the back already have a screw on them, so we don't have to worry about those. And then four washers. Okay. Very simple. So we're just going to screw on the back ones. Okay, so we're going to screw on the back legs. No. Why are there four if there are four screws? Okay, so we had a bit of a conundrum on whether or not we need washers for the back, but since they give us four washers, 
We're just going to put the back ones without washers. Because why would they give us... Okay, let's install the legs. The back legs will go on. On this side. Alright, now the front legs will go on. So let's take two washers. Very straightforward. few times. Okay, and then on the other side. Make sure you get that washer under there. There we go. Yeah. Now take your Allen wrench and tighten it. Make sure this is aligned so that it doesn't get, you know, class threaded. And then tighten up. Okay, and a uh, magic drum cut so that you can skip all the tedious installation process. And you might, you might need two people so that you don't scuff the floor, but I think I can manage. All right, and so this is what the what Tom looks like for the dream convertible sofa. This is what it looks like folded up as a couch. And in order to release it, you push it all the way to the front. And that allows it to go all the way down. And it's very big. Um, it can fit me from head to toe. And I'm about 62 inches. So it's advertised width of 66 inches. Seems pretty accurate. Uh, I mean, that's really there is all to say. It's really comfy, um, very cushiony. I mean, not, not like super cushiony, but cushiony enough for a futon to be comfortable as both a bed and as a sofa. All right, and so if you're taller than five feet, which I'm five two, so uh, if you need to add extra length, then just get an ottoman. For example, we have this ottoman that we got for my sister's wedding, which we, I think we have a video on. Go check that out if you're interested. Just flip it around and put it at the end. And, you know, it might be a bit raised, but sometimes it's nice to sleep with your foot raised a bit. And let's say that I was six feet tall. There we go. Very nice. So that's pretty much it for the showcase video. I mean, it's a sofa, it's not, it's a, it's a futon. There's not much special about a futon, but if you're interested in buying this uh, product, then we'll have a, uh, a link to it in the description down below and probably in the comments and go check it out if you want to buy it. But for now, I'm Ayman and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, look at the videos tonight, and especially the product showcases. I've done a product showcase on that fan over there. That's a, that's a good video. You should go check that out. And I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman and signing out.